Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Friday the 8th of March, the local media headlines today. The St Ives Times and Echo is out today and leads with the news that what goes around comes around with the prospect of local town and parish councils getting more powers to enforce things. It's not going to please everybody, but as community network panels are discovering, it's all very well being responsible for certain areas of local government, but without the teeth to enforce that responsibility, there's not a lot of point. Cornwall reports told us that John Betty, a senior Cornwall Council official in recent years, is to leave the authority at the end of this month. Mr Betty's been credited with masterminding most of the council's high-profile development schemes and with leading that expedition to Cannes in the south of France. Cornwall Reports also has an update on the future of the Oakley House Mental Health Unit, telling us that health chiefs have found a familiar reason for why they now seem determined to close it. And there's a familiar fortnightly story of Richard Branson not launching a satellite. Viewers in Newquay will know why this matters. Pirate FM reported on the death of a whale washed up on the Roseland. The animal had earlier been seen swimming in Falmouth Bay and was found at the mouth of the Percule estuary. The BBC was among those to report a call for putting accident statistics on road signs in Cornwall. The Falmouth Packet reported on a local drugs raid. The Cornish Times anticipates this year's Trelawney Shout pub sing-song. And finally, Cornwall Live has a list of unusual baby names. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching this. Do please share this video on social media. And don't forget that you can now get Cornwall Reports on a pay-as-you-go basis. You no longer need a subscription. Thanks again for watching. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.